Hey, hey, good morning. Let's go fix my shoe here. <laughs> I can't get my shoe on. How's everyone doing? We are about to start workout 12 of 24. So we are about to hit the halfway point of eight weeks strong, which is awesome. I am so fired up today, I can't even. I'm sure once I get working out, I'll, I'll simmer down a little bit, but I think it's because it's April 1st is a new month. I set some big, hairy, scary goals for myself this month, so I'm, I'm kind of fired up. Um, all right, so let me get my clock here going. For those of you who worked out with me yesterday, I messaged Steph last night and <laughs> said I'm in. No wine or chips. I added chips to the deal. No wine <clears throat> for April. Let me just clarify, that's not dry April. I can have a beer if I want. <laughs> I can have, I don't even drink coolers, but I could have one if I want. All kinds of stuff I can have, I just cannot have one. <laughs> so I'm doing it, you guys. I'm going to need all the accountability I can get, so I'm going to be blasting it all over social media today to shame myself into, it took, <clears throat> it took me all day to be able to send Steph that message, because once I sent it, I, I was like, there's no going back, I can't try, you know, I kept wanting to say to Steph, I'm going to try, <laughs> no, there's no try, it's do or don't, it's, it's will or, or won't, <laughs> so I sent a message, I really do feel that it is, I've been thinking about it for a long time, um, I've been resisting it for a long time. I should have done it in February, but I was not ready mentally. <clears throat> and you know, like that's okay, right? Like with any goal you have, you have to be in the right mindset. Like you can't, you can't set a goal out of obligation and responsibility and feel like I need to do this. This is what I should do. It's what I feel like I'm supposed to do. There's no inspiration in that, and therefore, you won't do it. Most people won't do it. I won't do it. I need to be in with my emotions. And so, I, you know, you, you do the, okay, what's going on in April that I'll want to drink wine at? I'm like, no, that is the exact reason why. Like, that shouldn't even be a thought process that comes out of my mind. So. But I also set alongside of that, a really big, hairy, scary business goal this month. So um, it means me 4 <laughs> my current business in 30 days. So I'm excited, I'm excited and I'm also, you know, trying not to say the, the dreaded words that can I do it, uh, it's unlikely, it's kind of a long shot, like, I don't want to say any of those things when we set a goal. Like we don't want to, we want to be like, no, this is what I want. This is what I'm doing. So the reason I'm sharing that is because on May 1st, when I've gone 30 days with no wine, I was kind of thinking of all the things I could buy with, the, with my money, my wine budget that will be intact at the end of April. Uh, because I don't buy $10 bottles of wine. <laughs> if you go a wine snob. I decided if I hit, not if I hit, when I hit, when I hit 30 days no wine and, and no chips, I added no chips to that. And I hit my business goal. I'm gonna go buy a really fancy bottle of wine and celebrate on May 1st or the, the first week of May. So that's where I'm at today. So I'm excited because I feel like it's the, it's the thing I've been resisting. You know, we all have that thing. I think I've talked about it before. We all have that, that naggy, naggy thing that you're like, you know, you know it's what's gotta get done, but you find all the reasons like, it's like no, that's my one, one bad habit. I'm allowed to have one bad habit. That's my one 
treat that I really enjoy. I'm allowed to have a treat. That's my one, I don't know, pleasure. I just need to curb it, right? And But in the back of my mind, I've known, no, I need a good solid month would be a good start without it. Um, for the mere sake that I don't want something to have control over me like that, right? Like I don't want something to have, I want to be in control. I want to know I'm making my choices for the right reasons, right? So that's, it's April 1st. So what's your goals? Is anybody joining? I know, I think it was, somebody said they were going to give up coffee. I don't know if they meant coffee, like actual coffee, or like sugary, sugary coffee. Who wants to join Steph and I in giving something up for the month? Or, yeah, giving up something. So, I'm giving up chips. I know that that won't be, I typically, and that sounds really strange. Oh, sorry, we're lifting. I typically eat chips when I drink wine. I don't really eat chips when I don't drink wine. Here's the key though, whatever you're gonna give up, you need to replace with something, you can't just give it up. So, here's my plan. <clears throat> I'm going to, I'm gonna substitute it with tea, or you know, maybe like a spritz or drink, like not an alcoholic one, just a Perrier. On the occasions that I want to have an alcoholic beverage, I'll have probably a beer or a, I don't know, vodka soda, or I don't even know. I don't even know if I have water. Honestly, I don't really enjoy it. <laughs> but, um, and evening is when, you know, I drink. I'm gonna make sure that I'm doing something in the evening different, right? So maybe I'll go for a walk at eight o'clock when normally I would pour that glass wine. Maybe I'll find something productive to work on, maybe something <laughs> pertaining to my big, hairy, scary business school that means 4 xing <laughs> my current customer base. But anyway, okay, final round. Remember you guys, as always, keep it at low impact if uh, that's what you need to do. And then the last round we did medium and this is higher impact. You can keep it at whatever impact you need. You can modify. You can do something completely different, just keep moving. Just keep showing up. This is gonna mark halfway of eight weeks strong. And so I love, I think I see stuff is on here today. I also love the idea of doing this in conjunction with the last four weeks of eight weeks strong. So it's like kind of just another box I'm gonna add to the eight weeks strong. I'm excited for April, in case you can't tell. It's a beautiful sunny day today here. It's cold, <laughs> it's below zero with wind chill. Uh, there was flurries when we were walking Dixon to school this morning, but anyway. Uh, Ontario just went into a 28 day, well, I think it starts, I believe it starts Saturday. Uh, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> so I haven't let that kind of quite settle. Look, I got my nails done yesterday. I got a pedicure yesterday. Yesterday I was thinking how inconvenient it was that I had done that, booked that for the last day of the month when my business is usually really busy on the last day of the month. Uh, and now, in hindsight, I'm glad I did. Because I'm not sure even, I haven't even looked at what the lockdown even means. Because I really don't typically go anywhere. But, man, 28 days sounds so extreme. <laughs> like, because I think... 
I'm pretty sure it means baseball's no longer. I think schools are going to shut down after Easter. I don't know. Anyway, the weather is going to be awesome. And even if it's not, I got a lot of work to do. So, so it's the first of the month. If you don't usually, I'm going to encourage you to join me in setting some goals, right? Some, and I want you to think about this is, I posted this on my story today in my social media and I did it. I did it thinking of other people, not so much myself. So it's funny how it's getting flipped back to me, but I want you to think about as you set your goals for April, you know, we tend to like, like when I was thinking about the wine thing stuff, I was like, well, what can, can I do? What do I know I can do? And I know better than that. We don't set goals based on what we can do. There's no inspiration and exhilaration in that, right? You see how excited I am to try to 4X my business? That is not something I feel like I can do, right? It's, it's a big, huge, scary thing, right? So there's excitement and exhilaration around it, right? So because I want it. So what do you want? I want you to think about um, what... Yeah, I think so, Tasha. I think last night... What do you want this month, right? And pick something that you can just focus on for 30 days. So maybe it's giving up uh, ice caps. Maybe it's giving up chips. Maybe it's giving up, like, I don't think you need to be extreme, but pick something that is something that's exciting to you. It could be a financial goal. Like, it could be like, you know, I'm going to save or put away, you know, this much, or, uh, I don't know, I'm just coming up with things. Maybe it's, um, I mean, this group is all about little goals. Like we have eight weeks strong, but we also have, um, jumping jacks is our goal this month. Oh, where did I put my notepad? All right, I'm going by memory, you guys. Okay, we're starting with, uh, jack squats. All right, you guys ready? Oh, I thought they said all of Ontario is going into gray zone as of Saturday. That's what I thought. I could be wrong. I don't actually follow. Chris told me. <laughs> okay, let's go. Well, I hope maybe it was, maybe they're considering it. Okay, so jack squats. Get that butt down. If you can't do the jump, you can do these. Okay, my legs are kind of, we, we've been doing a lot of squatting this month, this month, this week, and yeah, it's a bit of a, okay, next one we're going to go down in a squat, these are going to burn, and we're going to punch. We're going to be doing a lot of punching stuff today. <clears throat> Karen, I know you probably can't punch, maybe you can punch one arm, I don't need, I don't know. <clears throat> these suck. Uh, I'm already feeling these and it's only set one. We're doing four rounds, you guys. We're doing Tabata today. It's like Tabata Thursday. I might as well just say Thursdays are Tabata day because every Thursday, as a workout coordinator <clears throat> or planner, Tabatas are like so easy, right? Because I just have to come up with Pairing exercises that I like. Whew. So another thing that I'm going to work on this month, and I love that it's going in conjunction with <clears throat> the no wine. I was doing a little bit of research, and I came across a theory for, for women who are... These, like, I'm sorry, I look like I have a big beer belly hanging down in my crotch right now. And it's a terrible look. I think I might have to do those this way. <laughs> um, I hope it's not actually, it was just my shirt. I was looking at just some theories on women over 40 and over 50 working out and trying to lose fat. Trying to lose fat or lose weight and 
she said, I might have shared this with you all. She said, one of the worst things you can do is a lot of cardio. I'm a runner. That's what I do. I do a lot of cardio. <clears throat> I'm not sure this angle's any better, but um, because when you do a lot of cardio, you are raising your cortisol levels. When you raise your cortisol levels, your hormones are kind of get out of whack. Your body can't. Whoo, one more set of those. And so I thought she recommended a lot of walking. So, you know, Linda, you're right on track with that. Um, anybody who's doing a lot of walking, but if you're doing steady state, which is what most runners do, we do steady state or we do what's called gray zone. Runners, triathletes, endurance athletes, we run too fast, like too, too hard. Our effort level is too hard. <coughs> It's stressing your body, but you're not getting fitness results, basically. So you're, they call it the, the gray or the dead zone because you derive really not a lot of benefits from it because you're <coughs> working too hard to be in fat burning and to, to improve your cardio and you're going not hard enough. Like when we do these workouts, the goal is to do that's it, that's your one. The goal is to get your heart rate up really high, drop it up high, drop it. That's called high intensity interval training. Interval training is what she recommended, doing small bouts of it. So if you're doing these, these are 30 to 40 minute workouts, you know, the workout portion's about 30 minutes. Um, <clears throat> we're getting our heart rate. So I'm gonna focus on us doing that over the next four weeks. And then what I would recommend is do a lot of walking. So maybe that's your April goal is you add a lot of walking and movement. She said, move lots, move, move, move. Like don't sit, don't be, that's one of our biggest problems, right? As a culture is we, even if we're working out, we're sitting the rest of the time. So let's focus on low intensity. So I'm still gonna run, but I'm gonna try to maybe do a little less than I was. Um, and do more hiking and more power, power hiking and power walking. Um, those of you who aren't runners, <laughs> you know, you're good. You don't need to worry about that. Yeah, chips too, Tasha. You know what, chips and wine go together. Um, I'm actually not worried about the chips. I did that in, I think we did that in January. Okay, we're doing plank jacks. So down, we're doing plank jacks. If you can't do plank jacks, you can do plank like this, or you can do them on your um, elbows if you have bad wrists, or you can do them standing up. You can just do standing up jacks. What I really want, what I really want is your heart rate up, okay? So now we're doing plank punches. You see the, okay? So you want to not rock your hips. Really throw a good punch. If you have a sofa nearby, it's fun to punch the cushion on the sofa because it gives you some resistance. Um, but make sure you're not rocking your hips back and forth. So one trick is to widen your feet. The other trick is use your core to shift your balance. You'll know you're getting stronger in the core when you can do that. She actually recommended Tabata. So what you could do, even on the weekends, because we work out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, <coughs> you could do even like a Tabata or two, like Tabata, each set is four minutes. You could do like a 10 or 15 minute mini workout just to get that high, those intervals in. And then add walking. Walking is movement. But it's, you're in fat burning mode, right? So you're not in stress mode. Running higher intensity cardio, you go, you go into fight or flight mode, right? Your body, even though it's exercise and exercise is good for you, your body is stressing, right? So especially, especially if you carry a lot of stress in the rest of your life, 
if you have a stressful job, if you're, you know, if you have stresses coming from relationships, your children, your job, all the millions of things that we can actually derive stress from, and then you are stressing your body on top with, you know, cardio. So same with the gym, like you'll notice people go to the gym and they'll be on like the elliptical, the bicycles, the treadmills, and they never really change. Anyways, that was her theory. I think it's interesting. Uh, I know that the little bit of weight that I've put on, I can't take off through running. This is why I'm working out with you guys. This is why I'm committed to, because I know running, A, won't take it off, B, won't shape my body, it won't change my body, because it won't add muscle mass, it won't add muscle tone. The only way to do that is to really add resistance training, which we're going to start to do next week. We're going to start to add more weights in and fat burning. So, And then ultimately, the real change, I mean, is exercise is such a small, it's sad, you guys, because I would rather exercise and have freedom with food. You could probably reach most of your goals without exercising. Your, your I shouldn't say that, your weight goals, uh, weight loss, fat loss goals, you could mostly do through, I, I'm sad to say because I'm a trainer, through diet. It's not as fun. I would rather work it off. I think most people would. So Steph has motivated me and inspired me to make that one last change that I think is going to help everything else. I think it's going to help. Yay. Oh, do you have a pool, Dawn? Cycling too, right? Like cycling is, it, it, it's low intensity, so you don't have the, and cycling can be hard. I mean, I'm not a cyclist by any stretch. I should start, I have a bike. But low, kind of low um, intensity biking is a great, always say it's a great way for recovery. Okay, we're going to these next. Okay, you don't have to use a weight. I'm using a weight. You don't have to use a weight. I'm using a lighter weight than I did last week. If you're not using a weight, either way, you wanna go as fast as you can. These kill me with the weight. They make, they make a big difference with the weight. So now we're gonna do the other side. I think too, like stuff, Steph has a bike. She just got it. Um, she also, I know, was doing a lot of skiing over the winter. Like low, I know she said, you know, not super high intensity a lot of times, but keeping your interest, right? Like doing something you enjoy is important. Because again, if you, if you hate the whole thing, it's just work. You got we have to really be mindful of st the stress rest balance, right? I did a, oh my God, I did a live yesterday talking about taking and giving. I know I've talked here about that before, but we love to, we tend to take when we want to reach, because we think, okay, I want to lose weight, or I want to get fitter, or I want to get faster, or I want to get, I want to get um, more fit looking, right? Maybe it's not even weight loss. It's just like, oh, you know, I want a little bit more toned look. We take, we take stuff out of our diet, meaning, like taking wine out of your diet is okay, <laughs> but taking, say, carbs or food altogether, like a lot of people do intermittent fasting, and I'm not against intermittent fasting. I know it really works well for some people,
But I would say for the vast majority of people, at the end of the day, any modification is about reduction in calories. I mean, that is the bottom line. So if you're doing, if you've cut out carbs, the results come when cutting out those carbs equal a reduction in calories. When you intermittent fast and you only eat, you know, certain hours of the day, but you eat, <laughs> you know, triple what you were eating before, because some people would do that. I think I would. Like, I think it would be a nightmare for me. It's like, I had this conversation with Linda last week. So we were talking about, no, it wasn't Linda. It was somebody else. Anyways, I had a conversation. They were like, I've picked up a bad habit of skipping breakfast. Like, she's like, I always, I, I skip breakfast. Sometimes I skip lunch. I have dinner. And then I can't stop eating in the evening. And so, oh my God, my arms are burning. In running, we have this saying, you can't, or I have a saying, I used to coach who, you can't bank time in running. If you try to bank time, you, it does not work out for you every single time. And what banking time means is people are like, I want to run my 10K in an hour, right? So that's a six minute per K pace. But you start out the first few Ks and you do, you're doing 545s. Well, by the end, you're probably going to be doing 630s if that's not your pace. So by banking time in the beginning, you end up going slower in the end. That's the way running works almost every single time. Like you cannot bank time in running. It does not work. And so I think of that in terms of calories and eating. You can't bank calories or no calories by not eating early in the day and then, and then eating out of control. Because I know I do that, right? And I'm talking about people who... You know, it, intermittent fasting is, oh, <laughs> well, what's wrong with them, Don? That's cool. You can go to the local hotel. Okay. We're going to do, oh, God help me. We're going to do frog jumps. And I'm just looking at my board because I left my paper inside and I can't remember what the other stuff was. Frog jumps and ski abs. God help me. All right, so those of you who can't do these, that's okay. Do something. Do what you can do. Um, frog jumps, you can probably step back and forth. And my iPad wants to be a pooper right now. It's like my iPad wants us to have a break right at this point. Every time. Okay, hang on. So barring those who successfully do intermittent fasting, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying typically, if you don't eat early in the day, you overeat later in the day. It's just the way we work. Um, so I tell people like you can't get ahead by saving calories early in the day. At least I never can. And most people I talk to can't. So I would, oh my gosh. Seriously, guys. Okay, here we go. All right, frog jumps. Got a nice long break on that one. Don't forget, I hate frog jumps. I do these for you guys. <laughs> I do these because they're gonna make us better. Doing the thing that you don't wanna do is usually the thing that you gotta do. <laughs> Woo! Okay, ski abs, so we're down. And we're jumping back and forth, but side to side. Yeah, let me show you. Woo! So knees to elbows. May 1st, you guys. We are all going to be fit, fabulous, and fierce beasts. Right, you guys? Probably won't buy me a swim spa. Okay. How much?
much does a swim spa cost? Oh my god, how are we around too? And I already can't do front jumps. Doesn't matter, I'm still fired up inside, you guys. <laughs> oh. And we have jumping jacks for April. So, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're good. Whew! Because we do jumping jacks in our warm up. The rest of. Okay, we're halfway through that set. The rest of the month, we're adding jumping jacks. For those of you doing Grand Slam, treadmill after this to climb. And the nice thing about that, what I'm liking about that is I can, oh I can actually work at the same time to some degree, or at least, oh, okay. Who else is dying right now? One more round of those, and then we're gonna go into, well, we're gonna do squats, because those of us doing grand slam, keep going, you guys, we got this, this is, woo! as I say, it's the last one. Abs. Oh, God. okay, six seconds. Let's go push through. Push, push, push. Oh, I hope you guys didn't look as bad as I did. Okay, one minute rest. How are we doing? Who have I got here today for live? I've got Tasha, Dawn, Karen, Steph, maybe Jill. I don't see Jill's name here, but she's usually with us. Okay, we're gonna do squats and core necks. If you have weight and you wanna grab them, grabbing mine for squats so I can get my fulfill my squat squat and then let's see if we can get a hundred core in <coughs> so each core one is going to be different because I just feel like that so much wow 28 grand that's for swim spa not a pool like, is that just one of those little tub things? I don't know what a swim spa is. Come work with me, Don. Buy your own swim spa. All right. Here we go. Well, can I just say, Don, you'll like this. Okay, we're doing suitcase squats. If I hit, uh -uh, when I hit my goal this month, I will earn a Louis Vuitton purse and my goal for the last several months was to actually buy myself a Louis Vuitton purse but and some of you are like yeah you know I'm not really that kind of person like I'm not honestly you guys okay let's do like let's just start four five Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's ten. I had to count because you gotta know we have enough for our hundred core. Okay, squats. 
Let's count how many we're getting. One, two, three, four, five, six. If your knees bother you, same thing, 10. So that's, yeah, so I'll have enough squats. If your knees bother you in squats, I know Tasha, your knees bother you, make sure you drive your knees out in like more of a 45 degree angle. Okay, bicycles. One, two, three, It's pretty lofty. Um, I wasn't ready. It's like the wine. Mentally, I wasn't ready for it. I'm ready for it now. But there's something really cool about carrying around a Louis Vuitton purse that I earned versus bought. Okay, Russian twists. One, two, you know like honestly those who know me I look like this working out I pretty much look like this when I'm not working out too so I'm not really a fancy pants kind of girl uh, what I would like is a fancy RV <laughs> and, a fan and I bought myself a fancy pickup truck last year when I was looking for a, a new car and I wanted a little bit of luxury and I'm like you know what Okay, we're gonna do scissor kicks. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like you don't wanna look at my butt. Eight, nine, ten, keep, keep going. Eight, nine, ten. All right. That was a hundred core. That was our squats. We gotta finish with a plank. All right, ready? Finish with that plank for our plank challenge. I'm gonna do low plank today. And then we're done. So, I wanna hear your goals for April. You don't have to tell me today because you maybe haven't been thinking about it yet but so obviously maybe the eight weeks strong to continue to crush that make sure you're doing all the other things like the water the self-care um all that stuff maybe you want to read a good book like maybe, or maybe you want to complete two or three or a book a week maybe you want to journal more maybe you know you want to uh i don't know let me know what gets you excited about April in the next 28 to 30 days, especially if we're in a lockdown. What's going to get you excited? What's going to keep you focused on your own personal development, becoming a better version of you and not focusing on the stupid lockdown and whatever else is happening? What do you want to commit to? Are you going to commit to omitting something like Steph and I? Um, let me know in the comments message me post it in the group even better post in the group i'm gonna post i'm gonna post it in the group so everybody knows i can't have wine i can't have chips so have a great day congratulations we're halfway through tag me if you post guys let's get this group growing like if we're going into another i mean this is ontario i don't know i think i think out west is locking back down if we're going back into another one let's get people together to feel good to work out to do the jumping jack challenge to do you know, just to read the motivational quotes every day. <sighs>
Take care. See you next week.